we have demonstrated how to measure the focal length of lens mirrors so now in this class i would like to discuss what is the use of this lens and mirror in in our day to day life so all of you are familiar with the application of this lens and mirrors but still let me uh, tell you once more what is the applications of the of the uh, convex lens concave lens concave mirror convex mirror okay so application of application of mirror and basically application of mirrors and lenses so first application you can see i have spectacle right so for human uh, for uh, for human uh, so uh, the uh, first application very useful application for uh, uh, for our spectacle okay so basically the human eyes and the corrective lenses so you know this simplified this is the simplified view of human eye in human eye so this black we 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 see this black uh, uh, part in the eye so that's called pupil and then behind this people there is a lens there is a lens okay and back side of this lens it's a uh, it's called retina okay so the people is basically it's a uh, if we compare with our experiment whatever we demonstrated so people is basically it's the slit is the entrance of the light in the eye so there's the people and then from slit light comes and falls on the on the lens right falls on the lens okay slit or yes uh, it it control the entrance of the of the light basically in the eye so this is the lens okay so difference of human lens eye lens and the lens we are using so what of the lens we are using there is the fixed there's the hard lens and it's the uh, you cannot change its shape and size so its focal length is fixed but human lens basically this muscle uh, eye muscle it can change its shape and size so that means it can change its uh, adjust its focal length okay so uh, so light will light will come and it will converge this is the basically uh, convex lens kind of things so it's a light will converge and fall on the retina so retina is basically so retina is basically screen you know on screen we get see get the image so on retina is a like a screen if you compare with our experiment so image will form on the screen okay so this retina behind the retina its a nerves are there is connected with the uh, brain and then brain realize basically this uh, this image of the object from where this light is coming and passing through the pupil okay so this is the human human eye and you can see this is the exactly same it's the basically that eye is forming the image of the object and that same uh, same way as we have demonstrated in our lab so we have object we have lens and we have screen okay we catch the screen we catch the image on the screen okay so uh, so now uh, defective eye so 
we use spectacle why defective eye means uh, if it happens that this rays are coming from the object and passing through the pupil and and this this light converge through the lens eye lens and this image is not falling on the retina it's the it's the but they converge before that retina so it's called basically near sightedness it's called near sightedness okay so if this is the case then we cannot see the image okay we cannot see the image properly it's not focused one on the screen okay so so uh, we can see only when it will be focused on the retina so if if we use a lens it's a diverging lens so this ray are coming here so they are converging before the retina so if we can diverge if we can diverge this ray slightly then it will converge uh, at a far distance from this present distance so it will be on retina okay so accordingly one has to choose the focal length of this diverging lens so this uh, we use the uh, divergent lens to correct this vision okay so uh, from the ray diagram you can see now it is falling on the image is formed on the retina similarly other way also it may happen that this it focused uh, this image is formed beyond the retina okay okay at this point so it's called far sightedness so uh, in this case if we use the convex lens in spectacle if we use the convex lens uh, then uh, here ray are coming so it will diverge in some extent here and then rest of the divergence by this eye lens and it will fall on the retina from ray diagram you can see it will fall on the retina so this is the is the corrected by the converging lens okay so uh, so this is very important application of the lens convex lens and concave lens for human eyes for medical science okay so uh so second application i can uh, i can tell you this uh, all of us most of us uh, we are using this is the magnifying glass so this is the magnifying glass so right so to see the uh, yeah small letter to see the small letter in bigger form so we use magnifying glass so in this glass what is there whether it's a lens if lens so which lens is a concave lens or convex lens right so is basically convex uh, convex lens uh, is used and why it is used so and also always we have seen that we when we use this magnifying glass so magnifying glass always we uh, always it is it is quite close to the object it is quite close so we are not seeing like this it is not near the eye it is near the object okay it is near the object okay it is near the object so you know this convex lens when the object is within the uh, object distance is less than the focal length of the lens then we will see the erect and Uh, magnified erect and magnified image okay so from ray from ray diagram you can see so that's the object okay now this is the lens so parallel rays one is falling how to draw the uh, ray diagram you know parallel ray now it will pass through the focal length focal point 
and another ray passing through the optical ray. So, so this is the uh, ray, it is a diverging. Now, our eye will see this rays are coming from this place. Okay. So, I will see that ray is coming from this point. So, image, I will see the image here okay, of that object and image size is this. So, it is the magnified. Okay. So, this is the magnifying glass. This is the magnifying glass we are using. That is the basically uh, convex lens and, uh, and we use the magnifying glass close to the close to the object. The reason is that we have to keep the object within the focal length. right? So, third application I can tell you that uh, this is the camera. Camera, so this you know this somebody is recording my lecture, okay. So they are using camera, so they are focusing the uh, this page, okay. So this focusing is basically using the uh, lens, okay. In camera, what is there? Camera is a is, is called aperture, it is a basically like people aperture, so it uh, control, uh, it control the entrance of the light in the camera. So, there is a combination of lens, there is a combination lens here for simplicity I have shown these two lens and they are separated by distance say d. Okay. Now, this is the this is the film or digital screen where this image will form and there is a shutter you can you can control the entrance of the light on the film. Okay. So, when you will open the shutter, so light will fall. So, this is the a typical simplified structure of the camera. Okay. So, your object is outside. No? So, light is coming from the object from outside, it will enter. Now, this your this position is fixed, your screen is fixed, your film is fixed, right. Now, object distance or uh, it is a height distance. Okay. So, you want to uh, you want to get image, you want to put the image on the on the screen. That means, you want to focus the uh, image on the screen. Okay. So, definitely it will depend on the focal length of this lens. Okay. So, now using one lens, you cannot change the focal length. Okay. You need different focal length for focusing object of at different distance on a fixed screen, right? On a on a screen at fixed distance. So that's why you have to you have to change the focal length of this uh, of the of the of the lens. So so you need combination of lens. That's what it is used. So this focal length of this combination is basically 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. They are again fixed for two lengths. Now, here in your hand this d is there. So, there is option here. You are basically when you are focusing, you are rotating. That means, you are moving one of the lengths. You are moving one of the lengths uh, relative to the other one. So, you are uh, changing the d. So, uh, as a result you are changing the focal length. So, in this way you are getting variable focal length okay, to focus the object outside object okay, at different distance to put the image on the, on the uh, screen placed at a fixed distance compared to the uh, say fixed lens one can say. Okay. So, uh, this is the another example of use of the huge use of the of the lens. Okay. So, whatever the experiment we have done, whatever the principle we have learned. So, these are the things uh, we used for making this device. right? And they in our uh, daily life we are using, you are using them. So, uh, so, from our knowledge we can understand how, how this device works, right. 
So, next application I can tell you is in our scientific lab, in our in, in biochemistry lab, okay, in the hospital, in, in, in uh, teaching lab, in science lab, scientific lab. Uh, in astrophysics, okay, uh, in in uh, biological to see the biological cell, okay. So these two device, microscope and telescope, they are very very useful. So these two are complete completely based on the on the on the uh, lens and meters, on the lens and meters. So microscope. Why, why we use microscope to see a small object? So to see a so to see the uh, very very small object means this instrument can magnify the uh, image of the object. Okay. So uh, so how it works? What is there in this microscope? You see this. If you take two lens, if you take two lens, uh, here I have shown this. If you you have three lens in microscope, it's a compound microscope basically, using one. Uh, so it's the combination of lens basically. So uh, to magnify more and more and more, so uh, you need combination of lens. So here this. The diagram, ray diagram, I have shown. So this is the object, small object, right? So I have put a lens here. So that is uh, 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 this object we have put between f and 2f of this lens. Okay. So now, uh, if you draw the ray diagram, so image is formed here. So you are getting inverted image, you are getting inverted image and real image and magnified image. Okay. Now this image for, for uh, from the lens A, so IA. Okay. So now if you put another lens here, B lens B, okay. now this will be the object of this lens. So, light is going from this uh, object, uh, basically uh, this image, okay. So, image for this one, but it is an object for this lens B. So, it will form, it will form. So, I should, I should draw bigger one. Mm, so, just I have extended it, okay. So, this again ray diagram, you can draw this the passing through the optical center and another parallel passing through the focal lens. So, they will meet here. Okay. So, in this case you are getting, you are getting basically uh, the again uh, compared to this one it is the inverted one okay. opposite it is downward so now upward and you are getting real image. Okay. But compared to the, your object, so now it is erect one, okay. it is erect one. Okay, so it's in same direction. Okay, you have changed. So basically, using another lens, it's not magnified. It's the same distance. So it's basically it's put at the. Uh, it happens when you will put at two fb dash, means uh, at the at the at the radius of the curvature of this lens. If you put, then. Uh, you, you will get is uh, you can invert the image and image size will be same because uh, u distance or v distance are same so magnification is 1 v by u okay so here this lens is used just to invert this one so that this one will be uh, in the same di direction of the object direction right now you are using third lens okay and uh, in such a way that this this image which will be which will act like a object uh, for this lens okay so it is 
it is in the focal length of this within the focal length of this of this lens okay so then you will get the uh, virtual image and you will get the virtual image for, for this uh, lens lens c and erected image okay so this from ray diagram you can see it will form at this place and it will be magnified one so ultimately combination of the, this c lens is giving you a uh, erect image in same direction same way you are getting as your object as well as you are getting is very very magnified one okay so that's the purpose that's the purpose of this microscope for smaller object you can make it bigger and you can see it okay so here you see just simple is based on the principle of the uh, principle of the of the combination of the of the lens okay similarly for telescope what is the purpose to see the distance object okay to see the distant and small object so like star if we want to see so use telescope right so ray diagram i have given you so this is the uh, so from far away this i think i can i can show you like this i can show you like this so from far away so it's the galileo telescope this simple telescope but here just two lenses are used okay but modern telescope it has the lot of combination of lens but principle is same okay so from far distance so uh, rays are coming so basically parallel rays are coming okay so they are not parallel to the principal axis but they are making some angle okay if some make some angle okay so you will get the image you will get the image of this uh, here okay so this is the image of the of the of the object at 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 long distance okay now it's uh, so uh, to make it to magnify it because it's a small object object and it's a too long distance so now using this lens we have been that object in form of image is is, is near to us now if you use another lens it's the diverging lens here so what will happen so this this rays are coming here okay so it will so this is the converging lens this is a diverging lens so when this ray will pass through this diverging lens so ray will not go this way it will diverge like this so all these three rays will diverge in this direction okay so if you extend so they will meet divergent so uh, if we extend them they will converge at this point okay so basically uh, image will form here image will form here okay okay so one can think that this is the object for this this lens diverging lens and this diverging lens all the time it produce the erect and virtual image so with respect to this is the erect in same direction and virtual okay because it is you have to extend they are not directly uh, uh, meeting the this uh, uh, refracted rays so you have to extend them uh, then only they are converging so uh, so with respect to this this is the erect and virtual okay but with respect to this whatever uh, image in uh, this object it at a very large distance so that object as image you will see it's a, uh, it's a as a large image as a large uh, in large form okay uh, and this lens is basically is a is a objective lens this is called objective lens and this is the eyepiece lens okay so combination of these two lenses uh is is making us 
to see the distant object in a uh, in a bigger form okay so this is the telescope so again we see it is very useful microscope telescope so they are based on the simple combination of the of the lens and that's what in our lab we give importance of this uh, experiment on this uh, on this lens and mirrors which are which are very very useful for our day to day life right so uh, so so far whatever i discussed that is for basically application of mirror there are many application but few of them i have discussed which we are frequently used in our daily life so uh, uh, so uh, there are application of mirror also so application of mirror just briefly let me tell you just mention you that uh, application of say concave mirror so concave mirror is basically converging mirror it is the it is the equivalent to the uh, equivalent to the convex lens okay so it's converging okay so uh, so this mirror concave mirror is used it is used for converging the uh, rays right so this mirror is useful where so it it is used as a torch to reflect light if you see the torch light you have bulb outside of the torch you can see this there is a uh, concave so i had one let me uh, yes you can see here you can see here you have a bulb here inside you have bulb right and surrounding this bulb we can see this this is a is the mirror is the concave mirror right so concave mirror we are using concave mirror so this light from the bulb it will go this on all side okay now this this concave mirror inside it is there so it will basically uh, reflect this all this light and converge towards outside okay so you will get basically uh, more light from the same bulb so in torch light okay we use the uh, concave mirror okay so that's what here uh, one can see right second uh, second uh, in all car you will see this there is a bulb and they are also um, we use this uh, 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 we use this uh, concave mirror to reflect the light so it is used in front light of car in car this front light okay there also if you see this we use the concave mirror so same purpose as in torch i showed you so to reflect the light okay uh, uh, in front of the car to see the road okay so this concave mirror it is used in the solar oven and solar furnace okay to collect a large amount of solar energy in focus in the focus of the mirror for cooking food heating water recharging power uh, recharging power backup okay so uh sunlight if you use the mirror then you can focus all light at a point so you can you can concentrate this uh, solar energy and that energy it can it can be used for for burning the things right so to generating the heat so you can cook you can cook food you can boil your water etc etc right so this is the uh, third use of this concave mirror also it is used by dentist or ent doctor okay to obtain a larger image than the original of the teeth so uh, basically that they see the so your teeth so they uh, they use this mirror concave mirror okay they can see the image of this teeth or 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 this ear uh, hole okay inside what is there in the larger image okay uh, so uh, so because 
if you if you place this uh, concave mirror close to the object that means this that will be within the focal length of the concave mirror so you will get the virtual and erect image okay uh, so just in plane mirror whatever the way we see but plane mirror you cannot magnify okay you can see the virtual image okay so but here if you use concave mirror uh, and if you if you place close to the object within the focal length of the concave mirror then you can see the magnified image of your teeth or 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 ear so doctor also very frequently they use this mirror it is also used in the flash light mirror of the camera okay so flash light in camera we use right so there this to reflect the light okay to focus the light okay uh, we use the uh, we use the concave mirror in the in the uh, flash light of the uh, camera okay so then some points let me mention for the application of the convex mirror okay is like a similar to the concave lens okay all the time it it, it form the image all the time it form the image virtual image and erect image right so it is used as a uh, side view mirror of the passenger side of a car because it forms an erect and smaller image for the uh, way behind the car so in car you know this wherever driver is sitting okay <coughs> so uh, seen both the driver this front seat okay left side and right side so outside the side mirrors are there so side mirrors is used to see the uh, to see the object back side of the car okay right so so there which which uh, uh, mirror you will use concave mirror or convex mirror okay you cannot use concave mirror because concave mirror that image depends on the distance of the object whether it will be virtual or you know whether it will be uh, uh, real image so then it will be inverted some cases inverted some cases so you cannot use that one so you have to use you have to use the convex mirror you have to use a convex mirror okay so you can so all the time it will it will uh, it is independent of the distance of the object all the time it will give you erect image okay and smaller image uh, than the actual image actual object size okay so back side of the back side of the of the car uh, up to long distance behind the car you can see uh, which car is coming which who are coming etc etc so uh this 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 the this the use of this convex mirror uh, in car all car have this mirror for side uh, uh, for side uh, view okay so also it is used in a shop or big supermarket or any other corner where where need anti thief okay so if you go to the uh, shop bigger shop you will see where that uh, that counter is there okay cash counter is there back side of the cash counter in corner there is a mirror and in that mirror you can uh, you can see you can see this this whole the shop uh, uh, what people are doing etc so that mirror is basically concave uh, convex mirror okay so there so it can basically um, uh, as i told that uh, objects are at different distance and but the image is all the time it is virtual and smaller okay and you will see the erect image okay so uh, so so that's how we tell this uh, for anti thief is the anti thief mirror okay so to to um, for security purpose to check 
this what is happening in the shop whether someone is taking away the uh, things uh, from the shop or not so uh, it is observed through this mirror okay so that mirror is is convex mirror okay so uh, why it is convex mirror i i explained you it is also uh, you can see this mirror we use sometimes in the turning point in the road in turning point we we put the mirror so that mirror also it is a uh, convex mirror so uh, in turning point so you are going this way so seeing this uh, mirror in mirror you will see the image is from other side who are coming so other side you cannot see but from this mirror you can see the in from the image the who are coming so that's why in road okay for traffic purpose or in parking okay so uh, this convex mirror is used okay so these are the i uh, here whatever application i mentioned for lens and mirror so this all of you have seen this application of the mirror so i try to explain this with the with the knowledge whatever we have gained from the uh, from the uh, uh, demonstration of the experiment in our lab okay so um, just seeing the mirror you can immediately now you will be able to tell this in 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 car uh, in cars in side side one whether it is convex or concave mirror or this uh, in in road in corner a uh, whatever mirror is put whether it is concave or convex why it is concave or convex so this from this actually i try to tell you that uh, whatever application you are seeing now you will be able to explain properly how it works so so that is the purpose of just uh, uh, briefing the application of this lens and mirror so i'll stop here thank you for your attention